Hey everybody, what's up? Um, first off, I gotta apologize for the quality of my last video. That sometimes happens when I uh, convert a video file that I shot from my webcam, so I'm sorry. I, I was gonna re-upload the, the unconverted file, but there's, like, fucking people have already watched the other one, they've already commented on it, and you know, it's it's like the random pink videos if you if you guys can remember those it, it it doesn't matter the fucking picture it just matters if you can fucking hear me or not and the sound quality is fucking passable in that video so I'm gonna just leave it up if it becomes too much of a hassle though I might fucking upload the fucking uh, pristine version so anyways I didn't want to do a video about this because I wanted to see D Land and Cole fuck oh my god if you missed his blog TV today it was the best shit. Ever. I mean, I've never seen. He pulled an edible napalm. I mean, it was fucked up. Like, there's this one time when he went to Fox News and he was reading about this, and and he was like, the queen who was wearing a fucking uh, a gray blue tank top and the fucking pope who was wearing a green fucking skirt, and 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 he he just starts going off. He's like, I can fucking see that. You have a fucking picture with this fucking article. You do not need to describe what fucking clothing they fucking wear. It was fucking awesome. It really was. That was the maddest I've ever seen fucking be. So anyways, but I'm sure he's going to make a video because, like I said, this is really fucking, and this has really stuck a crawl on a lot of people's stuff. Oh, fuck. I fucked that up. Fuck. It sucks when you're trying to use a colloquialism and you fuck it up. Anyways, this has really fucking rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, but I haven't seen that many videos about it. And it's, and it's fucking stupid I haven't seen any videos. This is the dumbest shit anybody who's ever fucking said anything ever has ever fucking said. Also, before I get started into ripping apart what the fucking Pope said, excuse the fucking title. I know the Pope was not a Nazi proper. I know he was part of the Hitler youth. But I cannot fucking not use that title. That is the greatest title ever. Nazi invokes Godwin's Law. There's just something magical about that. So let's read this. Let's read this, shall we? Anyways, uh, uh, this is on PZ Meyer's blog. I will provide a link to that. I will also provide the text in the description. You'll have to scroll down on PZ's uh, blog because easy peasy likes to update his blog a lot. So anyways, let's read this. Even in our own lifetime, we can recall how Britain and her leaders stood against Nazi tyranny that wished to eradicate, eradicate God from society and deny our common humanity to many, especially the Jews, who were thought unfit to live. Okay, question. Well, let, let me read the second part. I also recall the regime's attitude to Christian uh, pastors and religious and religious who fucking spoke the truth? That's not, that doesn't even make any sense. It should be the religious. The fucking Pope can't even fucking speak right. How did this guy become the fucking leader of a church when he can't even fucking speak right? So, the religious who spoke the truth in love opposed the Nazis and paid for that opposition with their lives. Okay, first off, first off, when you were a Hitler youth, I have this question, and I brought this question up in uh, D. Land and Cole's blog TV today. Did you ever pray to your Catholic God for the defeat of the British whose dicks you are fucking collectively sucking now because you want them back in the Catholic fold, which has fucking failed for what? The past 200 fucking years you've been trying to fucking seduce the fucking British back into your fucking slimy little fold? It's not going to fucking work this time. It's not going to work fucking ever. Rat shit. That's what your new fucking name is. Pope rat shit. That's what your brains are made out of. Fucking 90% rat shit and the other 10% doesn't fucking exist. So really, in essence, it's 100% fucking rat shit. As we reflect on the sobering lessons of the atheist extremism in the 20th century, let us never forget how the exclusion of God, religion, and virtue from public life leads to ultimately a truncated version of man and of society, and thus to reductive vision of person and his destiny. Yes, because fucking 
being a man made of mud, proselytizing yourself in front of a fucking dickhole, yeah, that's a real fucking great view of fucking man, isn't it? Also, motherfucker, how dare you fucking come out and fucking try to peddle this shit when your fucking church did nothing to fucking stop Mussolini, the fucking Nazis, or fucking the assholes in fucking fascist Spain. Your church said nothing on fucking fascism. In fact, your church fucking even helped those assholes. How fucking dare you? You are the... You are by far the least virtuous fucking Catholic on this planet. You might even be the least fucking virtuous man on this fucking planet. How fucking dare you try to fucking talk about virtue, a fucking concept you have no fucking knowing of. You know who fucking was responsible for hiding up the fucking sex scandals in the fucking Catholic Church for the past 30 or so fucking years? Pope rat shit. That's what he did before he was a fucking pope. He was the guy in charge of moving priests around. He was in a position of fucking power to stop the fucking monsters. But he did fucking nothing. Fuck you. Also, seriously, motherfucker, why are you trying to revise history when you can actually somewhat make a fucking actual legitimate fucking case about atheist extremism when you fucking bring up People like, oh, I don't know, Pol Pot, Stalin, Mao, Lenin, who were actually fucking atheists and actually committed fucking atrocities. Why don't you bring up those fucking assholes? Oh, no, we got to bring up the Nazis because, you know, communism, you know, that's nobody's scared of fucking communists anymore. So we got to fucking bring up the Nazis. Atheists are fucking Nazis, even though fucking Hitler was a Catholic and he fucking... Had belt buckles with fucking God with us. Yeah, the fucking atheist. That's what atheists would fucking do. Go, seriously. There is, people like fucking you make me wish that there was a hell. I know I would go there too, but to see your fucking wrinkly old ass being gang fucked by a group of demonic warruses would actually make my fucking eternity of fucking unbearable suffering a little bit bearable. I can just always look over and be like, oh, that's the guy who fucking had thousands, maybe tens of thousands of fucking children raped and then protected their fucking rapist. Oh, but at least he's fucking getting what he wants. He fucking, uh, he should get because, you know, his, his asshole's being fucking split apart by that giant fucking demonic warrus dick. God, you're fucking... It. How could anybody... Like, this is the best the fucking Catholics can fucking come up with for fucking Pope? The fucking guy who is basically fucking responsible for fucking ruining the image of the fucking Catholic Church? Really?